Hi everyone. So today's look is going to be on um, kind of like a guest star. Her name is Beatrice. The look is just a really simple, pretty um, look you can wear um, to like photos. You can be any age to wear it. Um, the girl I'm doing on is uh, obviously very young. So we're just going to do sort of a light um, pretty look that's going to translate well on camera. The lighting for this particular video is a little um, dim, um, but in the future, um, if you'd like to see more videos with guest stars and if you'd like to see Beatrice come back, we can do that as well with uh, different looks. Um, so yeah, I hope that you enjoy the video, and I'll put all the products I did use on her uh, in the bottom bar. Thanks for watching. Okay everybody, this is Beatrice. <laughs> We're going to start off with the eyelid primer so her eyeshadows don't get muddy or stuck in her eyelid crease. I'm just putting it on with a brush because she's not me and I don't really touch other people's eyelids. Okay, and I'm just going to take a shimmery color. I'll pop it out so you can see it in case I'm out of frame. Looks like that. We're just going to pack that all over her eyelid. It's kind of just a tan color. We're just going to keep the look simple because she's going to be in a photo. I'm just putting on a light layer because we don't want to make it too heavy. Now we're just going to take like a milk chocolate color and we're going to put that around her eyelid crease so that it kind of makes her eyes look a little bit bigger. And a little sexier so that her boyfriend can come and slap me. Just joking. I'm only saying that because he's sitting over there. I'm just going to do an outward V motion so that it stays kind of sultry. I don't want to do a round eye motion because it's going to make her look younger. taking a little bit of a charcoal eyeshadow. It's got some shimmer to it, so it's going to keep her eyelids looking big and not small. We're just going to stay in the outer area, way outer area. It's not want to drag dark colors into her eye too far. I'm just going to repeat the same motion on the other eye. We're just going in a circular motion and feathering it in. I just cleaned up the outer area with a makeup remover wipe so that she doesn't have any dark eyeshadow that fell underneath her eye. We're 
just going to take a liquid eyeliner, close your eyes, and we're going to stay in the outer area. Just so her eyeshadow stays blind, we're going to go back over the dark eyeshadow and just tap a little bit of the first color we used right over the dark area. The other one's drying, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to go over the top of the eyelash with a little bit of the chocolate brown color. We're just going to make it look softer so it doesn't look so harsh. And that will also hide the lash band so they look more like they're her lashes even though they're big.